Greetings and welcome to a new video. I hope you're all doing well. This video will specially help you prepare for an upcoming iOS 16.5 and lower jailbreak down to iOS 15.2. Yes, it will work on A12 or higher devices also. I have a detailed video on KFD and how it can be used in a jailbreak for iOS 16.5 and lower. The video is in the description and in the pinned comment if you want to check the details out. So this can be used to get kernel read write on apple devices so if you check out the official github page for kft you can see it uses two methods the first one is fixed in ios 16.4 the second one is fixed in ios 16.5.1 so as you can see since ios 16.5 and lower is now unsigned luckily the method the kfd is working on iOS 16.6 beta 1 and also on iOS 16.6 beta 2. Also, I have checked it out. iOS 16.6 beta 1 is also currently signed. As you can see it right here, I have successfully downgraded my iPhone 8 Plus to the beta 1 of 16.6 so both of these are currently signed at the time of making this video you can check it on my device also so i have ios 16.6 beta 1 on this device right now so guys if you are on ios 16.5.1 you can upgrade or downgrade to ios 16.6 beta 2 right now or beta 1 to get your device prepared for the upcoming jailbreak if you are on any lower version please stay there and do not update now guys for the sake of this video just to show you that this works i have restored my device to 16.5.1 again as you can see it's on the device also and we will restore it to ios 16.6 beta 2 now for ios 16.6 beta 2 you can head to this tweet by Geo Snow, as you can see it on your screen. You will see this link. And when you go there, you will see all the IPSWs for all the devices for iOS 16.6 beta 2. Now guys, from here, simply scroll down and select your device. So for me, I have this iPhone 8 Plus. So I will get the IPSW from here. Now guys, to flash it onto your device, you will need either iTunes, just get it from the official Apple's website. And if you are using Windows, you can get it from here. So get it and install it. Or you can use 3U tools, which is also completely free. You can get it from its official website, as you can see it right here for Windows. So guys, you will simply connect your device via USB and then press and hold the shift key on windows and options key on mac os and then left click restore iphone or ipad then simply select the ios 16.6 beta 2 ipsw that you have got and hit open and then simply hit restore to flash it onto your device and your device will be restored to 16.6 beta 2. The second method you can use is 3U tools. So simply connect your device via USB, open 3U tools, then hit smart flash from here, then hit select local firmware and import it from here. Then simply import the IPSW that you have got for our iOS 16.6 beta 2, hit open and it will be imported. Now hit quick flash mode from here all right and then flash you will see the details here please back up your device first before you restore via itunes or 3 u tools all right now hit flash and wait for the process to complete this process can take about 10 to 15 minutes so it will extract the firmware and then the flashing process will start now guys at the start of the process if you get any error like unable to get sh sh it means that the firmware you are flashing is now unsigned all right guys as you can see the restore process completed successfully and i want to show you that now i am indeed on ios 
beta 2 as you can see the build number right here and you can see so on my device also so here we go iOS 16.6 beta 2 so please hurry up before it is unsigned that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section i will reply you as soon i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself